So the older emergency department was new in the 1990s and met the needs in the 1990s. Since then, the hospital has undergone several changes in terms of patient flow and other things that would be relevant for the emergency department and how we function. So over time, with the growth of the population in Dallas and the growth of the patients that come to us, we really needed a larger space, an updated space, a space with the newer technologies that are now available. And so this is why the emergency department was redesigned and renovated to fit these new needs. Our waiting room has um, now an entrance on the ground floor, right off of the street. There's a circular drive, there's a police officer there to help with traffic control if needed. It's immediate access and drop off to the triage area. We have the capability now to drive up to the hospital and then be able to be greeted by a paramedic or a concierge or a nurse to help with bringing um, your child into the emergency department. Our waiting room has capabilities for phone charging. There's healthy vending machines and snacks. Our new design has allowed us to be much more efficient. We now have 72 rooms on two floors. Every room is now private. Every room is multifunctional for whatever patient needs it. The resuscitation rooms, we have three resuscitation rooms upstairs and one resuscitation room downstairs. These rooms are larger rooms than our average room. They're fully equipped and they're really built and designed so that we can take care of the children when they're in dire need. We also have a very special area called our behavioral health unit, which allows our children with mental health needs to be safe and to get the care that they need while they are dealing with their um, behavioral health issues, but also while their parents are trying to deal with these issues. I love to talk about our partnership with Phillips. We are the first facility to offer this visual auditory space that can be custom designed for each child. The goal of this amazing technology combination is to reduce our dependence on narcotics to help calm patients. It's to provide an environment that feels safe and that environment can be adjusted to be unique for each patient and their special needs. And then ReConnect provides a device that children can use to interact with their environment, with the people with them, to take out aggression, to communicate. Our pediatricians, um, who are our partners in the community, they have access to our clinical nurse liaisons 24-7. They are working 24-7. They have been trained in triage. And so literally, we receive over 100,000 calls a year regarding referral patients. And patients that are referred to the emergency department, they come into our system, right, from the medical home into the hospital. We want them to go back to their medical home. And how can that occur? With communication. And a lot of times in the emergency department, we are busy caring for the patients. So what we do is collaborate with our clinical nurse liaisons who then close the loop of communication with our referring physicians. We're a children's hospital emergency department. So we have everything from physicians who do six years of training to specialize in pediatric emergency medicine. We have nurses who dedicate their lives to taking care of children in the emergency setting. We have pharmacists, we have respiratory therapists, we have child life. We're one of the largest pediatric emergency departments in the country and we really want to do the best we can for children who come to us.